Thank you for joining us for your reporter behind the story on CBS News Colorado. I'm Michelle Griego. The goal of this segment is to give viewers transparency on how a story was created by asking your reporter who put it together. The story right now deals with one of the new state laws that went into effect in the new year, a ban on single use plastic bags and styrofoam. It was a 12 year old activist who was behind the ban on styrofoam takeout containers. Madhvi Chator has been fighting for environmental environmental change since she was only five years old. She worked with the Jefferson County School District to ban styrofoam lunch trays, then push for a statewide change. And your reporter Ashley Portillo has the story. <laughs> it's a big day today. I fight for like every living being's uh, fundamental right to clean air, clean water, clean soil, clean food. At five years old, she became inspired to make a change after she watched a documentary. She then worked with Jefferson County Public Schools to make the switch from styrofoam lunch trays to compostable trays. It's really a really important thing because it saves the health of the students. Madhvi also worked with state lawmakers to declare April as Plastic and Styrofoam Pollution Awareness Month. Styrofoam is a big burden to the landfill because of volume. Then she began the push for banning plastic bags and styrofoam in Colorado. And I did a lot of things like emailing um, and convincing businesses, um, legislators, and even the public to support uh, this bill. Madhvi also testified at the state capitol, spoke to 35 mayors across the states, and many other restaurants. She even coined the nickname No Styrofoam Ninja. Yeah, everyone should like transform, I guess, into ninjas and fight against the styrofoam and plastic pollution. The new year means the new law takes effect and she's recognizing her hard work paying off. Proving age is just a number when it comes to making change. So yeah, it's really exciting. So um, it's a really big win for our ecosystems. As she visited a nearby restaurant, Madvi also did not forget to bring her metal containers. It's a lifestyle change she's made, and she hopes others do the same. Do their part in their own life, um, in their own lifestyle, and make sustainable lifestyle changes, and try to eliminate uh, unnecessary plastics. And joining me now is your reporter, Ashley Portillo. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. Madvi is amazing. So tell us how you came across this story and how you met her. I mean, first and foremost, certainly a brilliant 12-year-old. We sure. saw that in that story there. And I think it was actually probably after Christmas, right before the new year started, when those laws were taking effect. I was actually working on a story talking about those laws specifically. It was a styrofoam ban going out and talking to local restaurants. And as I was working on that story, her mom actually reached out out to us and I had an email in my inbox talking about her daughter just being this av uh, advocate and mm -hmm. activist for these laws and her daughter being a really big reason and a really big push as these laws were going through the legislative session and I said hey we got to talk to her and mm -hmm. that's how this story really came about to be which is so amazing uh, break down the law that went into effect this year it was a three-part law right correct so this law was signed into or excuse me this bill was actually signed into law back in 2021 by Governor Jared Paul so essentially the first part of this law went into effect in 2023 of last year. That's when we saw the fee on plastic bags as we were going out to the grocery store. Come this year on January 1st, 2024, that's when we saw the entire uh, ban on plastic bags throughout the state of Colorado. And that's also when we're seeing the ban on styrofoam containers when it comes to those containers and restaurants too. So again, there's a, a lot of moving pieces to this law too and we're finally seeing the effects of her work as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you've been covering the state's transition to more eco-friendly products for some time now. Now we're starting to see it really take effect. How will eliminating these styrofoam containers how will that impact customers? Because it really could. Right. And, you know, we're already seeing the impacts, right? And we're going to be seeing a lot of these impacts, especially in the next uh, four to five months, I would say. Uh, when I was speaking to some local restaurants that I've done stories with, too, they said uh, the, 
the styrofoam containers typically cost about 13 cents per container. Uh, the more eco-friendly compostable con containers cost about 26 cents. Um, so who does that really impact? That's really going to fall back on us as customers because uh, these business owners really can't bite the bullet and, and take all of those costs and those fees in. So unfortunately, we may be seeing uh, small fees on some receipts at the bottom of our receipts. Um, we may be seeing some prices going up too when it comes to ordering takeout at some of these local restaurants, Michelle. And some business owners may choose just not to do it. Are there consequences if restaurants don't follow this? Right. So I believe, uh, according to the state law too, uh, as I was reading it too, the first violation, it's going to be a warning for some of these restaurants if they don't make this transition or implement this uh, within what they're doing. Uh, come the second violation, it could be up to a $500 fine. That third violation could be a $1,000 fine too. So again, I know uh, these local restaurants have been dealing with so much really since the pandemic started and afterward too. I mean, it's just so much they've been dealing with that uh, I foresee a lot of them will try to avoid a lot of those P's and final uh, fees and penalties moving forward. Well, because of the pandemic, some of them are already pinched, especially the mom and pop uh, shops. All right, so the state has taken single-use plastic bags from grocery stores now. Will restaurants still use them? Yeah, so what's actually interesting about this law is that, yes, those plastic bag bans do impact our local grocery stores, right? Uh, our local retail stores, but it does not impact restaurants. So restaurants can actually still use those plastic bags. And as I was doing this story, I was also talking to the Colorado Restaurant Association. They said just for uh, the safetyness and cleanliness when it comes to eating takeout meals, we have to use plastic bags. And restaurant owners I was talking to as well said, we can't use paper bags. If something spills in your vehicle, uh, we need a plastic bag to you know make sure everything is contained too. So that does actually not apply to restaurants when it comes to the ban uh, plastic bags. Well, I wonder if that will start with customers. You know, now we take our own bags to grocery stores. Maybe people will start taking their own bags to restaurants too for takeout. Who maybe knows? their own bags, maybe their own containers, containers too, because Madvi, as you saw in that story, she actually brought her own metal containers to the Chinese restaurant sure. that she goes to frequently. So we may be seeing more of that. If you don't want to use those compostable containers, maybe we're going to see more customers bringing their own containers to get food. Who knows? What else does Madvi have going on? Oh my gosh, she has so much going on. I mean, she talked about for 10 minutes of all the things that she's doing right now. But in her spare time, she's actually a dancer. Uh, she composes music of wow. her own. So she's her own music composer. She plays many instruments. Uh, she does so much for not only the local community, but a lot of activities that she does in her spare time too. I don't know how she has time for it, but I'm so impressed. I said kudos to you, girlfriend. You have such a bright future. No kidding. And I can't wait to see what she does in just the next, you know, five years, what right. she's going to do. So right. that's so great. Ashley, thanks so much for talking about all of this. Of course. Thanks, uh, Michelle, for having me. Yes. And of course, Ashley, talk to the owner of a restaurant making the switch and how that will impact business. You can check all of that out as well as Ashley's story with Madvi on our website, cbscolorado.com.